Okay, so let's see. Uh, this chapter was on a whole lot of things. Uh, but first and foremost, the first thing we did was proportions. Proportions. So the semester final for chapter seven will have proportions on them. Okay, somebody give me a fraction. Uh, five over seven. Five over seven, and that equals? X over nine. X over nine. Can you solve that proportion? Yeah. I don't want to know what the answer is. Can you solve that proportion? I think. Yeah. Okay. I can't make proportions any harder than that. All right. I give you three numbers and, and, and an X, and you figure out what X is. Cross, multiply, right? Divide to get your answer. So the first thing is proportions. That should be pretty easy. Uh, other things that we talked about this was a whole lot of formulas. The basic formula was depending upon how you want to write it, is over of equals percent over 100. All right, now that comes in other flavors. You could say P is equal to percent times B if you want. How would you do 100 times of? Well, the nice thing about this, and this is where we wound up with the last formula, was that this one doesn't require you to move a decimal place. Uh, this is why I kind of like where it ends on this. Uh, so let's see, how do we use this form? Well, we used it for percent problems, right, on the semester final. Uh, percent, uh, you know, what is 30% of 45? You have to be able to do that. Uh, by the way, that's what I'm going to put on the, the semester final. Uh, it'll be a, uh, it won't be 20 of those. It's only one chapter of seven that we've done. So, but I will give you, I don't know, maybe two proportions to solve, maybe two percent problems to solve. And we did uh, a whole bunch of other things with this. Let's see, we did uh, rate of change. We did uh, simple interest. We did um, uh, rate of increase, rate of decrease. None of that's going to be on the semester final. What I'm going to put on the semester final are proportions. Percent problems, the easy ones. What uh, 45 is 10% of what number? Those type of problems. So if you can do this, it is overall equals percent over 100. You got those two or three problems down. The last thing I'm going to do is the conversions. Uh, what do we convert from? Uh, yes, uh, sorry, um, oh, fractions to decimal. No. Uh, we didn't uh, actually do that one. We uh, did. The whole chapter is on percents, so yeah, we did. Percents oh, oh, oh. to decimals. Percents to decimals, percents to fractions, and vice versa. Mm -hmm. Percents to decimal, percents to fractions, mm -hmm. and then vice versa. I give you a fraction, you tell me the percent. I give you a decimal, you tell me the percent. Okay, uh, that's everything that's on chapter seven that will be on the semester final. So as you do this practice, test, problems, whatever, keep that in mind that those will be the types of questions that will be on the semester final. I'll say it again, even though I want you to practice today, I'm not gonna have any questions on percent of increase, percent of decrease. I'm not gonna have any questions on, um, what was the other stuff we did? Um, uh, simple interest. Uh, I'm not going to have any ones on, help me out, I'm losing my compound brain here. What is it? Compound interest. Well, we didn't have any of that, or compounded, we did. Um, there are a couple other sections in the chapter. I do want you to do the practice problems, but uh, uh, I will not put those on the test. Proportions, percent, uh, and then lastly, conversions. Conversions. And there are four of the conversions. Percent to decimal, percent to fraction, and then vice versa, fraction to percent and decimal to percent. Now, he said, hey, how to convert a decimal to a fraction, fraction to a decimal. Well, technically, that's part of the process. To convert a fraction to a percent, well, you got to first convert a fraction to a decimal and move decimal place two places. Yep. Any questions? Uh, as always, I'm going to hand out, uh, well, I'm going to hand out the answers. Usually, I hand out a practice test. Sometimes, I don't. Uh, this is one of those occasions when I don't. I uh, don't need that one. I need this one. Uh, first and foremost, any questions on last night's homework? I can. Is it a compounded one or simple interest? Okay. And that's usually where the questions are, a compounded one. Share. Sharing is caring. All right, so it was question number uh, 
Number 10. Number 10. I didn't give you number 10. Yeah, that's what we're doing. From yesterday. But that's from yesterday. So we did on 7.9. Oh, how come this doesn't say 7.9? I don't know why. Uh, so you tell me. What did I give you? 2 through 12 Hebrews. All right, 2 through 12 Hebrews. On page about 260-ish. Okay. Question 10 was Al Gray borrowed. Borrow eight thousand dollars. Okay, so remember we're dealing with the I pretty formula. Okay, uh, he he borrows eight thousand dollars, so that immediately is the that is your principal eight thousand dollars. Um, nine percent. We're gonna write that as zero point zero nine. Uh, and it's compounded semi annually. That means how many times a year? 0.5, right? But it does mean it's compounded twice a year, but the time is going to be equal to a half. Now, does it say that he's keeping it in there? It says when the entire interest and in principal is repaid at the end of two years. Oh boy, does this would require a lot of work. Okay, so it's compounded semi annually. So you've got to do this two times a year, and we're doing it for two years. We've got to do it four times. Four times. I'll do it twice and just say, do it two more times. So here's how it's done. The first one, we know the time, right? That he's going to that he's going to do it is uh, semi-annually, so that's 0.5. Okay. So the first time he gets interest, right? That's the calculation. All right. I need a calculator person. Is it 360? Mm -hmm. So at the end of six months, he has 360. Mm -hmm. So how much? And then you add that. Then we add that. So we get 8,360. And then we do the same thing again. So uh, 0 0.09 times 0.5. So this is, we said we're going to do it uh, twice a year, and it's done for two years. So we're going to do it one, two, three, four times. I guess we could do this. All right, we'll do the whole thing. All right, go. Um, three three hundred seventy six point three plus eighty three sixty. Uh, so we're through some rounding here. How much? Eight thousand three hundred seventy six point three. No. Eight thousand three hundred seventy six point no. two. Eight thousand seven hundred thirty six point two. Because you're adding it to this number. Oh. You said thirty six point two. Well, we'll, we'll keep. We'll just round it, right? Yeah. All right, and then we got to do that again. So we're in year two now. Oh, All right, keep going. Um, All right, it would be three hundred. Add it to that. Add it to eighty-seven thirty-six. Notice each time we're adding a roughly uh, nine thousand one hundred twenty-nine point one two nine. We'll leave it at that. And then last time. Um, um, four thousand one hundred. Well, no way. No way. Mm -hmm. you, you said 360, 370, 380. There's no way it's 4,000. 9,500, uh, 39.805. Mm -hmm. We're claiming the, well, that wasn't what the interest was, but added to this, that's 9,005. You just typed your desk wrong. Do it again. You can't get four thousand dollars from nine percent. That that was an interest. I know, but he said four thousand. He just moved his decimal place wrong. And then add it to ninety-one twenty-nine, and we get Jaden. What was it? Nine five three nine. Nine five three nine. And the book. The book answer is. Read it. Uh. 9,540.50. We just did some rounding. They got 90. They did much more decimal place we did. They got uh, 9540. So we're in the ballpark. Oh, I got 9540. You're off by one penny. You're going to be a good banker, right? Uh, me, I'm going to be a bad banker because I did a whole bunch of rounds. I left off the cents every time. That's why mine's off. Okay. Uh, yeah. 
it's ugly. Hey, the nice thing about that ugly formula I showed you yesterday, it does all of this calculations for you. So that's why rarely do people do it manually like this. Yes. Can we do eight? All right. An automobile. Uh, loan is to repay, repay in three years. The total amount of repay is 92.30. So we're paying back 92.30 on a loan of 6,500. Meaning like you go to the bank or you go to the used car salesman, you know, like, where's the car? And they go, here's a great one. You're like, I like it. Cost 6,500 to go to the bank. And they say, you're going to pay me back 92.30. So the difference between the two would be the amount of, the difference between these two numbers would be the, the rate. not the rate, the interest. the interest. And what does I pretty solve for? Uh, the, interest. the interest. So subtraction. Uh, 2730. That is your interest. So 2730 equals what was the principal? How much did the car cost? What's 650? 6500. Okay, what was the interest rate? On number eight, David. Or you don't have your book. Anybody have the book? What's the interest rate? We're asking what the interval rate is. So that's your X. How much the time? Uh, the time is three years. That's easy. All right, let's do the math. Uh, Don't you do math on that? Yeah, but uh, give me the. Oh. Uh, 19,500. Okay. And then you multiply both sides by 2,700. What? Yeah, because you got to figure out. Okay, that's by itself. Yeah. 14, uh, 14. So we get 0 0.14. Yeah, 14. Oh, so you got to And that's used car dealers, or they charge a lot for used cars for percentage reasons. 14%. I'm very confused well, I bet you didn't do the right thing with the initial two numbers. All right. Let's create this. Here we go. Written exercises. So it's problems. Oh, yeah, right. Problems, what were they? Uh, two, three. Two, three. Wow. All right. Uh, number two is 36 uh, dollars. Uh, number four is 16%. I had a whole bunch of people come to me during student advisor. How do I do this? I showed them. Uh, number six is $950. We just did number eight, and that was 14%. We also did number 10. The book answer is 9,540.15. I said through 12? Yeah. Uh, yeah. And number 12 is $3,149.28. I got um, 2100 Depending upon how you round it, if you got 3,100, that's pretty darn close. Oh, I got 3,100. Yes, Jen. That can happen. That can definitely happen. And you'll know you get it messed up as a, when your numbers match the numbers, but they're not like, I say $36 and you get 3,600. That's how you know you, did, you moved decimal place wrong. Or you get 0.36. Yeah. Number 10 was, well, the book answer is 9,540.15. When I did it, we got uh, 95, I've already erased it. We got a number that was darn close to it. 39. So we were $1.15 off from the actual answer. I got that. The reason my mind was wrong is because I never included any of the pennies. 3,149.28. All right, 
uh, eventually I will collect this, uh, your homework or your, uh, what I need you to do in class. Uh, by the way, same speech about semester finals, e-learners. If you do not uh, take your semester final on the day, on the day that it is given, uh, then you will get a zero. If you run into any technical difficulties, you must call the front office to tell us that. Okay. Uh, it looks like on Monday you guys are taking your history. On Tuesday you're taking your English. On Wednesday you have your Latin. Uh, Thursday is your big day. You're doing both math and science. Oh, we have a PE one too. She's giving you a PE one. Yeah. Kind of. Do you want to know? Do you want to know why she's doing that? Yeah. What did you do? She was mad yesterday. She goes, I have some kids that literally are failing. How do you fail PE? And I said, hey, here's what you need to do. You need to make them the offer. You need to make a very hard, challenging physical test that they should be and able to, yeah, to pass. I said, I said, if you're if you're worried about them, then you offer them. They either can fail or they can take a semester final. So apparently she took my advice. Are you failing? <laughs> How can you fail PE? I you don't do the courses. The courses. Yeah. You put on your PE clothes, you go out and you act like fools, right? Why didn't you do your PE? Like, like, why did you spend all your time on YouTube instead of doing what you're supposed to do? One of them was three hours. And well, now you have the opportunity to get a passing grade. All right. Without further ado, uh, here's what I need you guys to do. Open up your books. Okay. Uh, there is a chapter test on page 267. Right? This is just for chapter 7. This is a review, right, of chapter 7 stuff that will be on the master fund. Uh, Grayson's going to go around and hand you out the answers. One of those boxes is like the answers. Right. You see it, Grayson? Right. Say again. So he's going to hand you out the answers as always. Uh, tomorrow, I have an IEP meeting at, oh no, I'll be able to have this class. It's the next class I want. All right, so yeah, tomorrow normal, I will hand you a copy of what will be on the semester final for chapters one through three. And then on Monday, we'll do chapters four through seven again. Uh, and I will hand you like no joke. What I hand uh, to you, it will be a multiple choice practice test. It will have all the topics that I will test you. If it's not on either what you're doing now, or what I hand you on Friday or Monday, it ain't on the semester final. Yeah. Say one more time. I might know whose book it, math book in that tree is. Whose? My sister. Yes. Is, I can take it to her. No, it's it's my math book, but she made the tree. I, can I take it to her? No, she gave it to me. It was a gift. She goes, Mr. C, would you like a Christmas tree? I go, yeah, I'll take a Christmas tree. How do you want me to ask us? All right, are you find it? There should be one. What happened up here? Duh. All right, Grayson says I'm an idiot. Thank you, Grayson. All right, uh, e learners. Donovan, are you online right now? Yep. Any questions? Questions, Donovan? Is there a time frame frame for the tests? Is it like due at like 12 or do we have all day until midnight? Now, this is just me, right? I mean, for all your teachers, it's through midnight. But for, for me, I will post the test at 7 a.m. in the morning. So it is up to you of when you decide to take your 90, 90 minutes to take the test. You want to do it at 11 at, at night? I would not recommend that because then you only have 60 minutes, but uh, I will let you make that decision. I will be grading the test on uh, Friday morning. So uh, as long as I have it by midnight on Thursday for you for this test, then you'll be good to go. Now, remember, that's just the math test. All the other tests that happen during the week, they have to be done on that day. Does that make sense? Yep. Thanks. Cool. Yes. Yes. Here. 
All right, David's coming around to grab the homework. I want to do that. Hey, is everyone aware of what your current grades are in my class? All right. I'm just going to say, some, some people still have Ds, right? Your chance of improving your grade are tremendous, meaning like you got one test left, right? Your goal, if you have a C in my class, is to get a C or higher on this test. Right? If you have a B, your goal is to get a B or higher on the semester final. If you have an A, you need to get an A, right? Uh, the semester final will, will definitely, if you have a very low grade right now, a D, and you get an A on a semester, it's a multiple choice test. If you have a D, thank you, uh, right now, an A will definitely get you to a passing grade. Absolutely. A low C probably isn't going to change much. Wait, so you're telling me. There's only one thing left. I'm not saying always. I'm just saying your D is such that if you get an A on the semester final, you won't have a D for the quarter. You get a low C, you will still have a D. True, Dad. Okay. Yeah. What if you get like, what if you have like a B? You got a B and you get a D, you can guarantee you're having a C. If you, have an a, you, if you have a if you have a B and you get a really low F, you could absolutely get a D. We couldn't get an F out again. Like, like like just depends on it. Like if you have right now like an eighty, a low 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 B, and you get a seventy, yeah, you're gonna get a C, right? Uh, but uh, if you have like an like an eighty five and you got a seventy eight on the final, you'd still wind up with a B. So what's my goal to get? Your goal is to get an A. Because maybe, maybe there's a chance that you could raise that grade to a B. There's no possible mathematical way to get an A uh, where, where your current grade is right now. But you certainly could, thank you, you certainly could get a B out of this. But, but you would have to get like a, nearly a perfect score on the final year. What? Perfect it is possible because it's multiple choice. The thing about multiple choice is that you're going to you're going to exactly you're going to see the answer. You're going to do the math and you're like, oh, I got thirteen. Hey, look, that's answer B, right? Um, so I should that, try my hardest on this. I agree. I wish and, you would have tried your hardest on the first one of the previous ones. Well, those were multiple choice. Some people are like they go from like an average C student to they get A's. On multiple choice tests, there's other students. The multiple choice just drives them crazy because they're like, they can do it four different times and they never get the right answer. And then they just look at the answers and they. I'm just saying, if, if you keep getting 3.6 as an answer, and the possible choices are 3.5, 10, and 12, and you don't pick 3.5, you've got problems. So algebra is going to be easy because you can just plug in the number. And any algebra problem, since I'm already giving you the answer, now that works great for one step, two step, but when I give you a, you know, a seven step problem, which I will, um, I, mean, I can show you. You don't have to think really hard. Right. Show me, show me. Well, it's gonna be what I show you tomorrow, but I'll show you one. Okay, uh, Donovan and other e-learners, I'm gonna stop it right here. Uh, all they're gonna be doing is this chapter review for the rest of the class period. If you got any questions, send me a chat. Okay, bye guys. Bye. 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 Bye